library It's a place where I love to be Look in a book, here's a story for you Who makes stories when the day is through? Who makes stories when the day is through? Story makers, story makers Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Milton Wordsworth Jackson. Working through the night till the rising sun Story makers, story makers Stories are fabulous, stories are fun Come and be a story Hello. Has everybody gone? The sun is down, the stars are bright. Story makers come out at night. Milton Wordsworth, story maker and magical maestro, at your service. Milton, 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 mm -hmm. Milton, Milton, did you see the librarian's brooch? It was beautiful. Can I? One. Well, I'm not sure, Jelly Bean. You're a little young and you might break it or worse, lose it. But I love jewellery. Well, I don't. Not unless the jewels are on a really big crown. <laughs> oh, hey, we could play kings. I could be the king with a really big crown full of sparkly jewels and, and you could be my humble servant. <laughs> oh, charmed, I'm sure. No, no, no. I want a story about jewellery. Well, I'm going to look for some king's jewels and play at being a king. <laughs> oh, do you think that he's cross with me? Don't worry, he can make a story later. Mm. Right, jewellery. <gasps> ah, oh. that'll do nicely. Mm. <laughs> Come on, then. Mm. Now, will you give us a hand? This machine takes a lot to get going. Join in the magic words. Yes. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. Oh, it's a playbook. Kings and Queens. It's dressing up time at school. What's in the box? Who will we be today? Let's dress up as kings and queens. There are crowns, capes, feather boas and glasses. But the jewellery box is empty. Let's make some very special jewels. We can use crisps and sweets with holes. Savoury and sweet all kinds of things that we can eat. And then we can use candy string to loop all these yummy things and make a necklace each for the kings and queens. Look at my necklace. I made it for me. Here's one for you, Your Majesty. It doesn't quite sparkle, but it looks tasty enough to eat. Look at the jewels we have made. Fine enough for a royal parade. that you can eat. That's perfect. Mm. Make way for King Jackson. I am the King of Jackson and I rule Jackson land. <laughs> Look, I found these clothes and jewels in the dressing up box. They're good, aren't they? <laughs> can I be your queen so I can wear some of those jewels too? No, there's oh. no jewels left. Oh, oh uh, you can have this, I suppose. Oh. Um. <laughs> What is it? Well, it looks like a belt to me. <gasps> yes, and me. Well, oh. I was going to use it for another story, but uh, you can wear it if you like, Jelly. Oh, no thanks. It looks a bit big. Let's make a story. Very mm. well. Uh, King Jackson, may I? <laughs> By all means. <laughs> In it goes. 
Now, are you ready with the magic words? You know what to do? Imagine, imagine, imagine the story. It's a tale from far away. And it's called The King's Belt. One morning, Rabbit found a tasty carrot in the king's garden. She took great care to eat it quietly, because nearby lay a sleeping cobra. The rabbit was so busy eating the carrot and watching the cobra that she did not notice the tiger creep up behind her. Lunch, said the tiger with a roar. It's true, you have caught me. But if you eat me, the king will be very angry with you. And you know what that means. Really? replied the tiger. Tell me why. You see, said the clever rabbit, a herd of elephants passed by and trampled all over the king's favorite flowers. The king found me here when he arrived and blamed me. As a punishment, he left me his precious magical belt to guard over. Where is this belt? asked the tiger. Over here, replied the rabbit, pointing to the sleeping snake. When the tiger saw the belt, he wanted it for himself. This belt is magical, you say? The most magical belt in the world, said the clever rabbit. Sometimes it can move all by itself. I want to wear it, Tiger exclaimed. When the tiger wasn't looking, Rabbit hopped off and hid behind a bush. She watched as the snake wrapped itself around the tiger. It was a much tighter fit than the tiger expected. Oh, that <laughs> rabbit was clever, wasn't it? Well, naturally. He was probably taught by the king. Uh, now then, you two, being a king is very tiring, so I'm going to put my feet up and read my comic. Uh, uh, my king's book. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's funny, isn't he? Mm. But, 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 Milton, I, I do really, really want some jewellery. Mm. Mm. Now then. Oh, I know. <gasps> oh, that's pretty. Oh, but I don't see how I can wear it as jewellery. Mm, oh, I suppose I could wear it as a brooch. Mm. Will this do, madam? <gasps> oh, it's beautiful, Milton. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, but um, why don't we use that flower to make a story? Why, mm. of course. Come on. OK. In it goes. Now, my petals, it's time to use your imagination. Yes, I'm going to think about a big, long necklace like this one. Will you help? Mm. Ready? Yes. Imagine, 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 imagine a story. <gasps> it worked. It's a blue cow story. Correct. Blue Cow Goes to Hawaii. Blue In a field not so far away from you is a herd of cows grazing quietly. They munch and chew on the lush green grass and are just like any other cows you could find. But one of the cows is different from the rest. Blue Cow wonders. Wonders what on earth is out there in the big wide world beyond her field. One day, Blue Cow was looking at the flowers. I wonder what it would be like to wear flowers. The other cows sighed and shook their heads. She's off again. I wonder, said Blue Cow. Well, I'll never know unless I go. So Blue Cow caught the bus that stops beside her field. 
I'd like a ticket to a place where I can wear flowers, please. There you go, madam. Hold very tight. And they set off for Hawaii. And then they arrived. Blue Cow was in Hawaii, under a very tall coconut tree and surrounded by lots of beautiful flowers. Oh gosh, it's hot, said Blue Cow. Aloha, I'm Daisy. This will cool you down, said a girl, handing her a coconut with a straw in the top. It's coconut milk. The coconuts come from the trees. Look, she said, pointing upwards. They're very hard to collect. You need a big ladder. Mmm, mmm, it's yummy. Thank you, said Blue Cow. Welcome to Hawaii, said Daisy, and she put a flowery necklace over Blue Cow's head. Thank you. I'm Blue Cow. What a beautiful necklace. It's a Hawaiian necklace. Would you like to try some traditional dancing? Oh, yes, please, said Blue Cow. So Daisy gave her a skirt made out of long pieces of grass and a crown of flowers to wear on her head. It goes like this, said Daisy. You sway your hips and move your hands from side to side. Swish, swish, sway. Okay, said Blue Cow. She swish, swish, swayed to the left and swish, swish, swayed to the right. Oh, oh, watch out, cried Daisy. Too late. Bump. She'd swish, swish, swayed backwards into the coconut tree. Wee. Plop, 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 plop. Five big coconuts fell from the tree. Oh, fantastic! What an unusual way to collect coconuts! Laughed Daisy. Now we can have a lovely drink. Thank you, Blue Cow. Oh, you're welcome," she said. You'll never guess where I've been. Where have you been? I've been to Hawaii, where I swish, swish, sway. Everyone knows cows can't go to Hawaii. But we know they can, don't we? <laughs> uh, King Jackson, how was your rest? Oh, very nice, thank you. I'm still a bit sleepy, but I did enjoy being king. <laughs> I'm just glad that you're back to Jackson now. <laughs> oh, oh, look, it's almost day. Oh, it's time that the story makers were hidden away. The dawn is upon us. The morning is nigh. We've made our stories, and we bid you goodbye. Bye bye. Story makers, story makers, working through the night till the rising sun. Story makers, story makers, stories are fabulous. Stories Thanks for helping. Bye, story makers. Story makers. See you again soon. <laughs> <laughs>